Axis again is the same wave number going from 4,000 down to 600. This time we have an absorbance spectrum. So we go from zero absorbance units to one absorbance at the top. And so this time, wherever something absorbs, the peaks deflect upwards instead of downwards. Okay? So the stronger absorption, peaks are going to be taller. Okay? We look out here around 3,000 wave numbers. Again, we see pretty strong absorptions just below 3,000 wave numbers. We said that was CH stretch, okay? saturated CH stretch. So this would be methyl and uh, ethyl, or excuse me, methyl groups and CH2 groups from the saturated portions of the fatty acid backbone. But we also see now a small peak just above 3,000 wave numbers. Now remember, remember we said when we see absorptions above 3,000 wave numbers, those are CH stretches associated with carbon double bonds. Okay? So soy oil, we know we have unsaturated fatty acids present. We have uh, oleic and linoleic, some linolenic acid present. So here we see evidence of that unsaturation in the soy oil by this CH stretch slightly above 3,000 wave numbers. So a lot of saturation, but also evidence of unsaturation. Okay, uh, this is carbon dioxide that we didn't uh, subtract out perfectly. Here we see again a very strong sharp peak about uh, 1918, yeah, about 1,750 wave numbers. Again, we said that is characteristic of the carbonyl. And we would expect to see carbonyl in a triacylglycerol or a triglyceride. The ester linkage that links together the fatty acid to the glycerol backbone, there's a carbonyl in the ester linkage. And so we very distinctly see here the presence of a carbonyl that we would expect to see in uh, any triglyceride or triacylglycerol. The CH bend that is associated specifically with trans fatty acids occurs down here about 966 wave numbers, and you can see it's pretty flat. We don't really see anything there, and that's what we would expect because in a native oil, we would expect to see no trans fats present natively in a, a vegetable oil like a soy oil, okay? There may be very, very small amounts in certain animal fats, but the level would be so low that it would be undetectable. So essentially for both uh, vegetable sources, plant sources, as well as animal sources, there really would be no levels of detectable trans fatty acids present, okay? So we see saturated CH, we see unsaturated CH, we see the carbonyl associated with the ester linkage, and basically nothing down here in the trans fat region. Now, if we've got our 